If you enjoyed these videos, please be sure to hit the like button, subscribe, and comment below. Tonight's video is based on 10 cases of spontaneous human combustion. Some people say that spontaneous human combustion is just a regular fire that people can't be bothered to find the cause for that could have been avoided, though basic fire, through basic fire safety. Others say that it's just a peculiar shift of our internal chemistry that can happen to anyone at any time. Number 10, the latest case made a headlines in September of this year as the first Irish case of spontaneous human combustion. People found the burned body of an elderly man lying with his head near the furnace of his apartment. Coroners determined, though, that the furnace was not the source of the, of the conflagration, nor was there any accelerant on the body, nor was there any evidence of foul play. This case was typical of spontaneous human combustion in that there was burn marks on the floor and ceiling directly below and above the body, but no other burn marks anywhere in the room. Number nine, the first case, the first mention of spontaneous human combustion in history books is Polonus Vorstius. Polonus was just a regular Italian knight in the late 1400s who liked wine, women, and song. He consumed, he consumed two ladies of very, ladles of very strong wine one night, and it disagreed with him. People say that he immediately vomited flame and then burst into flames internal entirely no one else seemed to have any problem with the wine and people were baffled as to how this happened they are still baffled now number eight the gruesome details spontaneous human combustion is claimed life at least one member of the nobility countess cornelius de bonde the countess who lived in the 1700s was found halfway between her bed and her window one morning with everything except her lower legs and three fingers burned. She had apparently calmly risen from her bed to open the window in the middle of the night, but combusted before she could reach the window. In the in the room, two candles had been burned, or at least the tallow had been burned. The wicks were left completely unburned. Soot covered the room, including some bread on a plate that she had left on a table. Just as an Indication of how strange the 1700s were, the bread was taken from the plate and offered to a dog. The dog refused to eat it, eat it making it the most sensible player in that incident. Two disappearances. Jeanette Kazmierczak lived with her husband and son in France in the 1970s when her husband disappeared mysteriously. Jeanette contacted the authorities to try to find him. They couldn't misfind anything. A few days later, while her son was out with some friends, a neighbor found Jeanette's body, except for her legs, reduced to ash in an otherwise undisturbed apartment. Number six, the fire inside. In 1967, a passenger on a bus in England noticed blue flames in the window of an apartment building hallway. She thought it was a gas jet and called the fire brigade. When they got to the place, they supposedly found the body of Robert Francis Bailey, a homeless man. A fireman reported seeing a slit in the man's abdomen from which the flames were issuing. Number five, when spontaneous combustion won a court case. Nicole Millette, the wife of a partisan innkeeper in 1725, was found after her husband roused the entire inn when he smelled smoke. What was left of her was in the kitchen, almost completely reduced to ash, with the wooden utensils around her unburned. Other accounts have her burned on her straw pallet, with the straw only a little damaged. That looks suspicious, and so her husband was tried and found guilty of murder. On appeal, though, he used the spontaneous human combustion defense and was exonerated. Nicole's death was found to be due to a visitation of God. Number four, a flaming, shrinking skull takes America by storm. In St. Petersburg, Florida, a landlady was making the rounds in her apartment building when she noticed one doorknob was incredibly hot. 
The tenant Mary Risa did not respond to her calls, and so she called her people to open the door. Inside, she found Risa's remains in the middle of a six-foot scorched area of carpet. A chair and an end table in the middle of the scorched mark were upright, indicating that there was no activity. Nearby on the floor, a pile of newspapers were untouched by the flames. The body, on the other hand, was reduced to ash except for a skull and completely undamaged foot. Some reports, which just may be exaggerated, say that the skull was shrunk down to the size of a teacup. Number three, when spontaneous combustion lost a court case. Jack Angel, who had been hospitalized with severe burns, brought a court case against a manufacturer of hot water heater for $3 million. He said that he went to check the malfunction of heating and it blew and scalded him. However, a doctor noticed his body had been burned from the inside out, not the outside in. Shortly afterward, he checked... Changed his story and so he fell asleep only to wake up with terrible burns all over his body and sold his story as a survivor of spontaneous human combustion. Was he one of the only people to survive spontaneously combusting? Number two, the Twilight Zone could be in an episode of the Twilight Zone. A gentleman in Crown Point, New York, actually seemed to spontaneously combust when he was watching an episode of the Twilight Zone television show. There's no report on which episode of the Twilight Zone it was. Number one, the witnessed case. There's only one case of human combustion for which there is a witness. A mentally disabled woman lived with her father who cared for her. One day he saw a flash out of the corner of his eye and turned to find her on fire. Despite the flame, she continued to quietly sit in a chair, not reacting, not giving any indication she was in pain. The man's attempts to put the flames fire out left him with burned hands. The woman lived through the combustion but slipped into a coma and died shortly afterwards. The indi this indication indicates one of the strangest parts of human combustion. It takes a very hot flame to reduce a human body to ash. Crematoriums have special chambers designed for it. However, in almost all combustions, there's no burns in the room or on the body. Okay, and the person simply stayed in one place. Whatever the case of this combustion, it seems to knock people out first. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to hit the like button, subscribe, and comment below.